Bonjour, fellow engineers. Welcome. We are going to France on our world tour this week. I only know a couple of French phrases. Not very useful either. J'adore le fromage and je me lave mon beat. I'll let someone French tell you what that means. Right, so we're doing three bridges. Well, I say bridges. We're doing three structures this week. So first off, we'll go in sandbox as always. And this is this is going to be a big one. This is probably the longest bridge I've done. I reckon about 200 meters. Yes, it's a biggie. We're gonna we're gonna add a bit of height as well. Something like that for now. Let's move these anchor points. All right, so we're gonna add a bit of terrain to the start just to uh, just give myself a bit of room. And then this bridge has quite a few pillars. So I'm gonna use this old. What's this called? Oh, it's just a pillar. <laughs> that would make sense. So I'm going to use these to, uh, well, make a pillar. <laughs> and this is what our main bridge is going to stand on. So it's a bit of a foundation, a tall foundation. All right, so actually I'm going to overlap these a bit like that, just to make it a bit narrower. And then I'm going to duplicate. And rather than doing them up like that, I'm going to proper overlap them. Just because in 3D, they kind of have this, they kind of look bricky in the middle, but the top, there's a bit of a, a bit of a ledge. So yeah, I'll overlap like that and then just copy a shit ton of them to the top. And then we'll just put these anchors on top. And that should be enough for us to build our bridge from there. Alright, so just lower this bit of train for now. I'm gonna I'll come back to the train after I've built the actual bridge, I think. Just wang the vehicle in, ready. And then I'm just gonna copy this entire structure. Sweet, I can make a few of them. Right, and we are good to go on the bridge foundations. So if we just go into bridge mode, this is what we have now. This is our level. Yeah, that's looking kind of like what I'm after. Can anyone guess what this is just from here? Very impressive if you can, but I guess being in France might be a bit of a giveaway. All right, so we're going to start with a bit of road. No magical fairies or guns or any of that shit today. <laughs> Yeah, so as before these pillars, I'm just going to put the road across these anchor points, just so, as you can see, without them, there would have been a gap. See that? Yeah, and then I'll just keep going all the way along, I think. Alright, so for this, I'm going to want two sort of sections, and I'm just going to put a load quite close together. I'm just going to make sure there's enough to tie up with the numbers of roads. So I need one, two, three, I need seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that should be fine. And then I'll just do a little extra one on top, a bit like that, and then I can copy that. Now actually, before I get too far, I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to use the old line tool. I want to go to roughly about there, I guess. I'm going to move all these nodes. Let's turn the grid off, just to give it a slight bit of, just to make it a bit more angular. All right, so I've got my two sort of pillars now. I'm going to combine them into one pillar. So I'm going to connect them up. So I'm going to do a cross brace sort of thing down here. Fill in the remaining gaps like that. And I'll do the same down here. Right, and then I've added a sort of middle point there because I think when I draw a line, it looks about right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to join that up like that. Mirror that over. I think cross brace there. Maybe down there as well, actually. And then up here, I'm just going to do a bit of carnage. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good, to be honest. We've got a bit of a gap underneath which is quite realistic. I think we've got the angles and the sort of scale right compared to how much road there is. So now this is a cable stayed bridge. So we're just going to add the cables in. And this is when it properly starts coming to life. And there we go. We're nearly there. I'm just going to... Actually, I've got a bit of road there. Okay, so I should now just be able to copy that. Yeah, this is how you spend money in this game. Boosh, another hundred grand. Boosh, another hundred grand. <laughs> I'll just work my way across. Oof, and now we're on 800 grand. Damn. Uh, it's looking pretty good though, to be honest. Now all we have left to do, well, firstly make sure it works. <laughs> Bit dodgy. Oh, get rid of that anchor. Yeah, so I hope it works. And then I'm gonna, well, before we test it works, I'm just gonna finish the old terrain, just cause it doesn't span a big old sea. Let's make it a bit more realistic. Right, so I think we're nearly there with the terrain. Let's add, there's a little river down here. Let's just add a little boat. Because <laughs> why not? Let's add a little steamboat. That looks nice, doesn't it? A couple of planes, I reckon. Right, and then what I've done, I've added two cars and I've spread them out a bit just so we can 
Well, I'll try and balance things out because I'm a bit worried. Say as this car gets to the middle, we're going to have the weight here and it's just going to pull both these towers up. If there's two, hopefully it should even things up. Let's assume we even get that far. I haven't pressed play yet. Right, let's press play then and see what happens. <laughs> oh, everything seems to be... Oh, there's a car going. Look, let's zoom right in over here. Here we go. Oh, there's a bit of wobble. That went up to like 70 something. Oh, that went up to 90 something. <laughs> oh, it's gonna make it though. Wicked. Uh, one thing I do need to do quickly, the event editor. I need to put all these vehicles to go at the same time. There we go. Everything's going at once. Awesome. Right, so this is, in case you haven't guessed, this is the Malau Viaduct. This is the world's tallest bridge and it's an absolute beauty. I'll just flip between the old photos and you can see, did I get it right? Did I do it justice? In my opinion, this is the best bilf in the world. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you like that one. All right, so if we just take a quick look at the start with the stress on, should just be able to see how this works. So everything's being pulled this way. So this side of the bridge is being properly compressed. So you can see with the two cars on, I really helped sort of balance the weight. So you can see this one when they're both on it. It's kind of green down the middle. But as one goes to the edge, that side goes orange. It's a little bit wobbly, but it's pretty, I think it's pretty realistic in terms of how it works, to be honest. The only thing that isn't realistic is when you look down that angle. Not the best. I wish you could do a, just a single sort of pillar thing. Right, so we're staying in France and moving on to the next bridge now. And for this one, I'm loading up my level that I called the wall. So basically I have a level saved that has a nice stone wall pre-made for me. Because <laughs> they take freaking ages. So this is from when I was creating the old pyramid. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But uh, I'm going to use this as my starting point just to save a shit ton of time. So yeah, even with this few nodes, you can see it still proper tanks my PC. Oh, let's not stay in that 3D view for too long. Okay, so I'm just going to sort the level out first. So basically, I think I want to move all of these down, which I can't bollocks. In which case, I'm going to have to move the edges up. Oh yeah, that could work. That'll be fine. So about there, I go into bridge mode, and then I'm just going to move this, if I can. <laughs> I'm going to get it as close to the edges as I can. I'm going to turn off the grid. Oh, this is laggy. I apologise if the lag is hurting your brain and eyes. Oh god, we got the donut again. We got the donut. <laughs> the donut of death. Stone walls and my computer don't seem to like each other very much. Oh, there we go. We're in. Oh god. It's so green. Oh, the donut's back. This could have been a mistake. See, how the hell did I build that pyramid? Because that was huge compared to this tiny thing. Oh, silly poly bridge. Oh, no, we're alive. I don't know. Are we alive? What is going on? Why are there two? I didn't copy. I just... Oh, friggin' hell. I don't even know how that happened, but let's delete that. Right, here we are then. So, we've got our stone wall. And we've put it in a bit of a hole. So first things first, I'm just going to road up the very top layer. And before I go too far, I'm going to actually test this one to make sure it works. So I'm just going to join up these ends just because they look a bit ropey. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to delete bits out. So let's take this middle sort of section. I don't know. Right, technical glitches. We had to uh, we had to build this one off camera just because trying to record and build at the same time was just too much for my computer. It was absolutely tanking. But this is what I ended up with. It's a stone viaduct, so I've built it. I haven't tested this yet, uh, so let's just play. Okay, so it holds itself. That is good. It is quite cool, actually. It does look like a viaduct. Fair play. I guess the next thing to do is to test, can it hold a vehicle? Because that's the point of bridges, is to get across stuff. So, we'll start with a car. I'm confident, I'm just not that confident. Shit, that won't help. <laughs> okay, so we will play the car. Oh, this is laggy. This is laggy. 
51. Oh, I'll tell you what, it barely moved. Right, I'd say that's an easy win. Right, so we've done the compact car. I reckon we can step it up. I reckon we can step it up a lot. Yep, we go in there. Container truck. Come on guys, believe. Do you believe in me? This is stone walls. I invented the stone walls in Polybridge. Right, so I haven't touched physics. 21 polygrams. It's all legit. Let's see. Do we have the strength? The power of engineering! Ooh. Ooh. Holy shit, it worked. That only went up like 10%. I'm a genius. Let's turn the stress on. Wow. So it's only these outside edge down there ones that... Oh, that is what I'm talking about. Aside it being like five frames a second. That was awesome. And they said you couldn't build with stone in this game. Right, so trying to find a photo of this one is a little bit difficult. However, I will flip between the best photo that I found and what I created in Polybridge. And I think it's pretty similar. Obviously, we've got a giant truck going across. It's a little bit out of scale, but... <laughs> but I'm impressed with that. I'm very impressed. I don't know why I've done cross braces there and nowhere else. What is going on with that one? <laughs> But yeah, so if you haven't guessed, and you probably haven't heard of this at all to be honest, because I hadn't till I got the comment. This is the Morley Viaduct. Proper old school stone viaduct. And it actually carries a railway rather than cars on top. But yeah, thanks for the suggestion on that one. That was really good fun. Bit different as well, using the old stone. <laughs> My computer's not happy, but hopefully you guys are. So now we're going to go on to our final structure. And I say structure because it's not really a bridge. But someone did suggest it in the comments. So I had to do it really, didn't I? Right, so this final structure. There's no bridge, so there's no span. It's just flat along the bottom. I've just quickly put some of these terrain bits in. A, a few anchors. I'm going to sort of sketch this with cable. I'm pretty sure if you haven't already guessed what this is going to be, you're going to get it just from this little... Well, probably just from me doing that. <laughs> right, so I've plotted out some coordinates. I say coordinates, there's nothing technical. I just sort of roughly eyed in where I thought each thing should be. I am going to use the cable just to draw the sort of outline. And this will probably give it away almost instantly. If you haven't guessed it, you will very, very shortly. I reckon that should be... Good. I'm just going to put the curve in straight away, I think. So surely you've got that from now. I'm not going to say it, just in case you haven't. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep going. Right, so I've gone for this sort of arrangement. I'm just going to do a bit of that. I know there's shorter cross braces up here, so I'm going to do that. So these are sort of three squarey things. And these are almost like a British flag. Quite ironic. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Do that to bung one in the middle and then join them up and hopefully the diagonals will reach. No, I'm gonna have to move that slightly then. There we go, that's not too bad. Sweet, then round here I'm just gonna do a nice bit of trussing around there. We kind of need to continue this curve, it sort of ends up down there somewhere so there's something along those lines right sweet so i think that's pretty much what we're after i'm just gonna copy that and just make sure the scale all looks good yeah i think that looks quite nice you know let's just check the old yeah it seems to stand there by itself okay right so moving upwards then oh we kind of need to continue this cross bracing onto the next two or three layers yes yeah, so that's one we'll do another one like that Looking good. And then, there we go. And I've added, just added those pieces just to kind of keep the force going straight through. I don't want the force of the weight of everything coming down. Sort of having to work its way through all these nodes. I want a direct route straight to these anchors. So you can see here I've kept the old straight through. Alright, so again, we've got this sort of, I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's like a, a viewing platform, I guess, on the real thing. But we're going to leave that alone and we're going to keep our forces going straight up. There's a slight angle change here. We tend to go a little bit sort of steeper now. Alright, so I've done this one side. I'm just going to copy this over. 
Nice, and we are getting there now. We go quite dense again up here, so I'm going to have to add a lot more nodes along these. Probably like that sort of thing. There we go, so we got all of them in, and now I'm just going to go mental up here. Uh, voila, as they say in Francais. <laughs> My French is so bad. And now we got another sort of viewing platform up here, which I've just added in. Oh yes, that is looking pretty to scale, I think. Right, so I've done this one side. I'm gonna copy this over. Yes. And then just cross brace the middle as well. So there's no gaps up here. And there we are. Now we're on to the next section where we get steeper yet again. So I've sort of curved this one, as you can see. They've got smaller as well. I'm trying to keep the angle of the uh, dangle. <laughs> Sorry, love that saying. The angle of these cross braces, sort of similar. We're in a cross. They do change a bit because we don't get too narrow, but copy that over. Right, so up here it goes a bit mental, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to do a cross brace square. We'll do four of those. Yep, so we've gone absolutely mental with them. I'm just going to just gonna add a few more to the sides. And I should be able to shape this. And there we go, that's looking a bit neater, a bit tidier. Then on top we got this sort of, is it like that? Ah, that's right, we got another we got another layer, and then we got this sort of thing going on. That's what I was after. Yeah, that looks better. Now I'm gonna switch. First time in this <laughs> this design. We're using some wood. We're doing a little mini square cross brace again. And just a few of those. And then just finish it off with a bit of that at the top. Right, that's pretty good, I think. Let me know in the comments if you think it's good. I reckon it's good. Uh, let's zoom right out. Oh, yes. If someone was to say, name a French structure, I think this is the one that most people would pick. It's an absolutely iconic... I was going to say bridge then. It's not a bridge at all. But yeah, I reckon let's... Before we test that it works, I have no idea. I did... I tested this bottom bit, I think, to about that level. I haven't tested any higher. I guess we need a vehicle to complete... Hopefully he'll just drive straight through. And I reckon let's add some planes and stuff. So we'll add biplane. Let's have a jet go. Have him go right under the bottom. I think I've seen people doing that in a <laughs> Microsoft Flight Simulator, so that's that's realistic. Got a blimp over here. Have a little one of those planes. We'll bung these all just to go at the same time. So it's a bit more interesting to watch. Right. I think I'm happy with that. I'll just double check I haven't missed any cross braces or anything mega I can see. So place your bets. Will this hold? I am not... No, oh, I don't know. I feel like I am convinced. It's... It is high, don't get me wrong. But... Oh shit, I have missed a load, haven't I? Look at that. Whew. Let's quickly put those in. Oops. That is the trouble. Oh, and down the middle. What have I... Done. And that cross break. Oh my god. Always check your work, people. Self-checking is super important. There's another one. And there. What is wrong with me? Terrible behaviour. I think everywhere else is good now. I've given it a little a once over, he says. Yep, okay. Place your bets then. Is this gonna hold? Have I recreated the Eiffel Tower in Polybridge? Ready? Oh. oh, wow, 58%. Decent, that's a lot more impressive. I'm going to change the old... I'm going to get rid of that blimp as well, because it's really slow. Go away, blimp. Move you over there. I'm going to change the background, because France isn't very deserty. It's more... Well, none of these are like France, really. Oh, I guess that one. That's quite French. But yeah, so that was the Eiffel Tower, and please keep your suggestions coming. Uh, I literally read every one, and I write down, I've got a list of all the bridges that have been proposed. So yeah, if I just slowly go through this, and we can just compare to the photo, you can see how well I did. Obviously, no planes on the real life one, <laughs> flying underneath. But yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. I've tried to follow everything, and I think mine probably cost a bit less than the real one. Just under 750 grand. All right, so before we leave this one, we're just gonna have a little look at how the old stress works. 
because I am intrigued. So we will start at the top. So everything's green, a little bit of yellow as we come down. But it's all green pretty much. So yeah, it's only these proper bottom pieces where there's any stress in it really. So pretty efficient structure. I just wanted to have one little look as well. <laughs> How stupid. Because like that angle is pretty good to be honest. Like not too bad. But this game. <laughs> oh yes. The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Obviously that's the Eiffel Tower. Anyone could tell you that. It's the most obvious thing I've ever built, man. Look at that. Silly game. But yeah, this, these angles, pretty, pretty decent. Pretty tasty. The old colour's not too bad either. Real one's a bit rustier, I guess. But yeah, thanks guys. Merci and all that. Au revoir. I shall see you next time. Peace, love and bridges.